In this video, we'll look at the molecular geometry for XEF4. So the first thing we need to do when we find the molecular geometry for this xenon tetrafluoride, we need to look at the Lewis structure. So if you need help writing this Lewis structure, there's a link in the description to help you do that. So here's our Lewis structure. Each of the fluorine atoms has an octet, and then that central xenon atom, it has actually more than eight valence electrons, but that's okay. It's an exception to the octet rule. We don't normally think of xenon compounds or noble gases as forming chemical bonds, and in general they don't, but this is an exception as well. So this compound actually does exist, the xenon bonds to the fluorine atoms. To find the molecular geometry, we can imagine that these four fluorine atoms are all pushing against each other and spreading out. And these lone pairs here, they're pushing against each other in the fluorines. Everything's spreading out, and that's how we come up with the molecular geometry for xenon tetrafluoride. It helps to visualize this. So the purple, that's the central xenon atom. Let's add four fluorine atoms. One, two, you see they spread out as far away as they can from each other. Three, four, right now we have this tetrahedral structure. But remember, we have those two lone pairs. So let's add those lone pairs here. There's one, everything pushes away, two, and we end up with what's called a square planar molecular geometry, where all these fluorine atoms are kind of in a square in the same plane. If we wanted to look at the electron geometry, we'd have to take into account the lone pairs here as well, and that would be called an octahedral electron geometry. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. So back at our Lewis structure, if we couldn't visualize that square planar molecular geometry for XEF4, we could look at the steric number and then look it up on a table. So we have one, two, three, four atoms, and then two lone pairs, so five, six. Steric number of six, we go to our table here, so we set our steric number, that's six, and we had those two lone pairs. So we go down and over, and it's that square planar molecular geometry. The bond angles here will be about 90 degrees, and then if we look at this bond angle kind of straight down the middle, that would be 180. We could also figure out the molecular geometry and bond angles using the AXE notation. So A, that's the central atom, that's the xenon. X, that's the number of atoms around it, the one, two, three, four fluorine atoms. And then E, that's the number of lone pairs, the one, two lone pairs we have. So AX4, E2, it is square planar. You can either memorize that or sometimes you're allowed to look it up on a table. This is Dr. B with the molecular geometry, electron geometry, and bond angles for XEF4, xenon tetrafluoride. Thanks for watching.